So I want to have a fireside chat with you about Shiba Inu and about everything that's happened around SHIB and the entire market, the crypto market today. And I want to unpack real quickly what it all means. And I want to talk to you about what I think is going to happen in the next couple of days, next couple of weeks and things of that nature, because I care about you. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, stick around, because I genuinely want you to make a bunch of money in Shiba Inu and the other coins and tokens that you have. And that's probably how, why I make the videos I make and I have these kind of conversations with you. Okay, so here we go. So Shiba Inu, what it all means, what's going on? Why did SHIB run so hard today? 12, 13, 14% up, crazy, crazy day. As of recording this video, it's up about 12% right here, right now, um, testing a range in the one, two range uh, where it actually had tested a couple days ago and bounced back from that. So what's going on in the overall crypto market is simply an unprecedented time. Well, you have to understand everything that's going on. Now, now I'm going to shift and talk about some macroeconomic factors that are impacting crypto and Shiba Inu along with it. Because remember, Shiba Inu is a top 20 crypto. It moves along with the entire crypto market. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the other major altcoins, Shib is right there with them. Okay, so here's what's going on. Federal Reserve decision came in yesterday. It was in line with what we were expecting and the crypto market completely didn't blink. In fact, it went up. Okay, and I think fundamentally, number one, it was a number we were expecting. What the Fed, we, the Fed did what we were expecting them to do. So what I've been talking about all along was the was that that number, that decision had already been built into crypto. Crypto had already made the assumption that we were going to get a 75 basis point raise, and that's what we got. But secondly, along the along the realm of what the Fed did was that uh, the chairman of the Fed, Jerome Powell, also in his comments made a comment that was effectively I said effectively a lot, that was basically, there's a better word, that was basically, he said that we are in the worst of it right now for the inflation and kind of what the economic factors are and conditions are right right here, right now. Flip that, what he really was saying was it's it's going to get better because we're in the worst. We're, we're basically in the peak, if you will. All right. So I think that's being la uh, layered in and factored into the exuberance. I'm picking that word in, uh, uh, on purpose the exuberance around the crypto market and to an extent Shiba Inu. Okay, today we got the GDP, the gross domestic product report came in. And this is where the one that shows, um, you know, the, the, the GDP, uh, the output for the United States. And it was not as bad as we were expecting. We were expecting a 1% decline. We got a 0.9% decline. Okay, so that was the final big kind of potential derail catalyst we were waiting on and it wasn't as bad. And so the market took that and ran with it. Stock market ran away today. At least at one point when I looked, it was up 400, 400 points on the Dow. The Nasdaq was up 200, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Crypto up 10 plus percent today overall. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, 24,000. Ethereum, 1,700 plus dollars. Again, depending on when you're watching this video, major, major runs, 15, 16, 17 percent up on a single day. And ultimately, going back to the GDP scenario, we are officially in a recession now. That is one of the barometers when you have two quarters of negative GDP. We had Q1 of 22, Q2 of 22, negative. We're technically in a recession, but the market doesn't seem to care, okay? So unpacking all this and what it means for you as it relates to Shiba Inu is simply this. Depending upon your view of SHIB and how and what your what your strategy is, are you buying and holding for the long term? Then you're good, okay? Because we're going to have these ebbs and flows in the market. We're going to have these things. And right now, we're in a massive green candle time. There will be red candle days. There will be down days. We all know that's going to happen. And all I'm simply conveying to you is protect yourself as much as you can. Don't push all your chips into the proverbial into, into the middle of the proverbial poker table. That is life. That is crypto. Don't do that. Right? Not investing advice. Simply just giving you my opinion. Okay. Um, DCAN maybe dollar cost average in. Keep some dry powder on the on the on the side. Diversify. Diversify across different cryptos. Diversify outside of crypto. Um, have a profit taking plan, take profits along the way in your Shiba Inu if you so choose, right? Take, take profits on all the other coins and tokens, have a plan for each coin, each token. I do. Some of them are short-term investments. Some of them are long-term investments. Shiba Inu for me, long-term investment, buying and holding long time, multi-year, long time, long time. Okay. 
Just Food for Thought wanted you to be aware that this is what's transpiring. We got a lot of moving parts. Thank you for giving me a few minutes of your day. Take care. Go make some money. Have a good one. Bye.